here we are, not done one of these for ages. What with dark nights coming home from work and makes are really sure. So COVID-19 got us all locked away. The bugger is that. All them bastards who have just got dragged their bikes out ready for its season. Can't ride them. What a shame. However, lucky for me, I've had to go into work today. So you take the opportunity while you can in these dark depressing days. And I thought, you know what? I'll just stick a stick microphone in and see what we can see. So here I am, centre of Preston. Well, not exactly centre, but you know, coming through Preston. At what? Well, about 20 to 5. I think that clock's about 10 minutes wrong. I've, I've just noticed ABS lights come on as well as we're on my way here. I'm hoping that just needs cleaning. Ah, so, every buggy locked in. Oh, good. You're going mental. Should be an excuse for a few more of you to watch me fucking YouTube then. Give you something to do, you've no excuses now. Uh, so, let's see how many we, we see talking about. It's, it's a bit quiet our roads, you know. As you can see. Usually, this time of day in Preston, if anybody knows. I guess it's like any other large town, but Preston City. So somebody, somebody will put me right. It's a city now, you know. Go on, run, run. Keep your social distance from that one. Ah, right, so what are you all doing to keep yourselves busy? Covid nineteen. Our fat lass, she's uh, she's no work now, so all this is lifted. Some of you know, she makes cakes, a little bakery in a cafe. That's been shut, so she's sat at home now, now to do. What she don't get is, I've fucking loads to do, right? I've still to carry on working. Working from home mainly, but uh, you know, now and again I have to nip out, keep the wheels of industry turning. Um, so yeah, I've, I've loads to do, mate. Busy as out last week, making sure everybody can work from home and, and all the rest of it. Um, on top of normal stuff I have to do. That ought to be busy, FedEx. <laughs> So yeah, so she's uh, going around going, oh, this job needs doing, that job, what they shouldn't get, right, no, 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 find yourself some fucking jobs to do, not me. So, decided, if some of you who know me, who've been, you know, watching some of these, well, I've seen, right, we've had discussions about Pendle Cat. Now, we got Pendle Cat because our dog Deco died last year, and I weren't allowed to get another fucking job. Even though I wanted one at the time, we got told no, not for all the rest of it. However, Patty's off work now, at least three months. So she's got time for a puppy. Keeps her fucking busy, keeps her quiet, and gives her something to do. Gets her puppy, does I? So we've got a little pug. Ugliest bastard you've ever seen. Proper ugly. Um, yeah. Little pug, little girl called Whitby. Ugly's out. Well, that is now Fat Lassie's fucking baby. I'm not joking, right? Sits there outside, colour. I even get a bollocking shot. Go in, right? Reminds me of when kids were little. I'll go in and I'll get, shh, you'll wake the baby up. It fucking, you what? It's fucking proper baby fad. However, keeps her happy. I've not seen her smile as much for fucking ages. Proper chuff she is. So, yeah, what's been going on? What, what are you all doing? Who's making excuses to get out? Oh, this is essential. 
Are you, are you going out and then fucking going and buying a loaf of bread while you're out, just in case you get stopped? I don't think that one will work so well. Stay in, stay safe, stop spreading it. Let's get it over and done with. Let's not let as many fuckers die in as we wanted. I started a petition the other day. Uh, there's not many on it yet, so I'll put I'll put a link in the description. The petition is simple. Alright, it's a simple one. In fact, let's go for you. The petition is a simple one. What you need to do, sign my petition, right? Um, and it's the boys in blue are going to go out and give you fines for every breaking the lockdown which you know it's right but you don't get me wrong I've got a problem with that fucking do they're not taking any notice making it worse for everybody else not just herself however that money I think should go straight to NHS budget because you know I'm gonna need it you know that, that's a scary thing of like everybody in the world is promising billions and billions and billions so they can keep the fucking countries going and rightly so but it's going to be paid for our lads classes, girls, boys, loads of ladies we've all got to pay so that means if they're going to get extra revenue for naughty little cunts who can't do as the fucking time right well Half of that money should go straight to NHS. And maybe, just maybe, and there's a big maybe there, right? They might find it in their hearts of hearts after all this, when the public fucking get behind them to treat nurses and doctors and care workers and frontliners. I mean, I, I'm classed as a key worker, right? It's fucking bollocks. I do IT for a living, right? I sit there doing the computer. No, all right. I've read the argument of it takes people like me for fucking. And if you're working at home, you know there's there's me and people like me in the background making it so you can work from home, right? But we're not fucking that key. Do you know what I mean? Them lot who are out there fucking making sure ventilators are working, they are. So just because somebody's told you you're a key worker, right? Don't automatically assume you are. There's key and there's very key. Caregivers, them looking after folk, they're key. Idiots like me looking after its infrastructure. Yeah, we're we're, we're not key. We're bolt. If there's a key to a door, we're, we're just bolt on it. We're just there to make sure we're... So, yeah. Just thought I'd uh, ride through Preston. Rather than going up motorway. Take the opportunity. Have a look. See how quiet it really is. Uh, you know, it is, a, it is a lot quieter. As you can see, shops are shut. Not as many folk about. There is three in that car, right? I don't know why there's three in it. That should be getting a tug. If I was a policeman, I'd be giving that one a tug over. Oi, you three. What are you up to? Why is there three in that car? You're not social distancing. What's going on? Even if it's a taxi and they're going shopping, it should only be two. Driver the person who's going shopping and then you just fucking do that as well fuck's sake weren't even a taxi there you go loads of people on pushbacks it's in all of them Where are you going? Where have you been? So another 
another thing, it's been that long since I've, uh, I've done any of these videos. So, oh, I'll just dig my microphone out. And I've got a few that I tried last, last time. And I couldn't bastard remember which one worked right one. And I've got a sneaky suspicion it's not this one. I think this one I'm using, I could be wrong, either A, don't fucking work, which means you won't hear me, or B, I think it just records on one channel. So I'll have to post edit that. Which brings me on to another subject. So, I usually use Mac, but I've had occasion to uh, I built myself a new PC just because I wanted virtual tech, the virtual reality. So I've got Oculus Rift. Anybody knows what I'm on about? Oh, fucking melted. That's another story. We'll talk about that some other time. Um, so I thought, right, it's got half decent graphics card in this. We'll see what 4K is like. So I'm recording in 4K today, kids. We'll see how that does. Uh, I was going to put second camera on, pointing up at me, but you know what, I just couldn't be fucking arsed, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. Wait a minute, wrong way, dickhead. Yeah, so I've got an old Hero 4 Silver, I think it is, which will do 4K uh, at 15 frames. Yeah, I think it's 15, which, to have it anywhere else, would be shy. But to have it there, pointing back, I won't be too bad. So I reckon 15. to say Fucking you 
Sol. Salisbury Hall there on the left, folks. Tudor Manor House, that. Oh, reportedly haunted. It was a big. So apparently a priest was slaughtered there. And his blood stained the floorboards. And no matter how many times he replaced the floorboards, the blood still kept came coming back. Now I remember it as a kid. We used to make a big deal about it being haunted. Oh, they do it, do you want it? And they used to offer a prize for somebody who'd sleep the night in the old priest room. So it'd be interesting to see if they still do that. They probably fucking don't. Because I could do with a few man. It'd be nice to have a few quid. I could get a fresh bag. I'd still keep out Pearl. She's a, she's a good one. She's a good one, he's our Pearl. Grand lass. Oh, you Pearly. I took her uh, leather tank off, by the way. Took a leak, I've still not put it back on. Should get it back on, I've got to leave it white for a bit. Well, it's a bit of a spruce up. Pearl lass is kept outside in, in cold and wet all the way through winter. But she gets ridden more or less every day, so she does alright, does old girl. Yeah, yeah, that's the one near you. You're a blood parker, 10% discount. 
Honda to show you both that gone. Happy days. So yeah, anyway, get to home, show you that last look at these new jeans, they're alright these, I've got hip, I've got hip pads with them, even though I haven't got them in now. Oh, telephone. Anyway, I've just, had, I've just had a call come through then. So anyway, where were I? All about these jeans, weren't I? Yeah, red, red root ones. Good ones. Good ones, like I said, good fit. Everything, they actually look alright as well. Some bad jeans just look fucking shy. Um, obviously you can't wear them most of the time. They're not good if it's fucking raining out like that. Look, coming up somewhere I thought, right, oh. walking around into no textile pants. You end up sweating like a bastard if you go you know, for a ride somewhere and get off and go for a walk out. So jeans on. Good thing. So I'm like, fucking okay, hell, I must have lost a bit of weight. There's plenty of room in these. Look at this. Show it, show it back last my waistband. Hey, look at that one. Look at that. Fucking plenty of room in these big boys. When I checked, they were only a fucking 38, weren't they? No wonder they fucking fit like a dream. You fat bastard. Fucking hell. So I have to wear a belt with them. To be fair, a 36 would have fit right. So before you start that, I dare say, if I lay off the uh, sausage butties in the morning, I might get a 34. Not that big. What else has that? Oh, hey, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we've done while, uh, while I've not made a video. So I decided, right, I was going to have a do at veganism just to see what all fucking fuss were about, right? So I did it in January. So everybody's like, oh, have you done veganuary? No, no, I've not done veganuary. Um, we were supposed to be going to Bukharet. In fact, this video right, I'm making now um, should be made for a book arrest. Right, we had it booked, mate. Fat last going away for a week. Booked a lovely little, lovely little place on Airbnb. Got the flights and everything. Uh, we should have flown out last night. This should have been our first day in Bukharet. However, with the uh, COVID-19 flying about and the world in the state that it's in. Obviously that wasn't to be. So they've given me a voucher for my flights. Um, and we're, we're supposed to be able to go within the next 12 months. We'll see how that fucking pans out. Um, so yeah, veganism. So I said, right, I'm going to go vegan. Until I go to Bucharest. Well, to be honest, I fucking fell off that wagon about three weeks in, right? Once I knew we weren't going to have a bollocks. But to the wagon that I jumped on, right? Believe this or believe it not, kiddies. No alcohol, right? No alcohol. I said, I'm going to save it up to when I go to Bucharest. So, I've not had any alcohol. I've been drinking zero fucking alcohol lager. Can you believe it? I've got sort of used to it now, so even though I've done me three months dry, I might treat myself to a couple of, I've got a bottle of Gentleman's Jacket now, I might treat myself to a little snifter, seeing as I was supposed to be away tonight. Uh, but I think I might keep up with the, uh, the old zero alcohol thing uh, during the week. I think it's a, it's a good idea. You reach for a bottle of that, you get used to the taste after a bit, it's not that bad to be fair. Um, and I don't know about you a lot, but you have a drink, you have an evening, you, you're, not, you're not doing it to get pissed, you're just doing it a bit more than out. So because it's forced to have it, you think, oh, I'll just have a couple here, a couple there. 
so yeah you have a couple of drinks um, now I just reached for zero old golf still have a couple of bottles of that Arnikin I found is best done I've tried a few uh, and the Arnikin zero zero um, here's another little subtle hint for you lads and lassies zero alcohol lager right the alcohol is approximately 50% of the calories so if you have zero alcohol beer you're only having half the calories there you go give it a try like I say you probably won't know the difference you ain't like me you'll have a couple of cans of evening and you're not doing it to get pissed like I say you just do it for habit so you know you get to a certain time oh I'll have a beer so yeah I'll give that a go so I've had I've tried veganism and I uh, I tried uh, being alcohol free I was meat free and alcohol free so I might lose a bit of weight with it you know but about to put fucking weight on I would have substitute everything but to be fair right you could quite easily be vegan tell all these fucking idiots who were going on and on and on who have a big problem with vegans I don't get it mate right what, what the fuck if somebody eats what the fuck you want to eat right same with vegans shouldn't give people who eat meat shit right people who want to be vegan let them fucking be what the fuck's it got to do with you? Fucking wind your neck in. I don't see me. You know, at the time when I was doing it, fucking Subway brought out the vegan meatball fucking marinara, whatever it is, right? And you had folk moaning like, fuck. Well, it's not a fucking meatball then, is it? Well, no, it's not. But when I was shopping for stuff, when I was vegan, if it said vegan meatballs, I fucking knew what they were, right? And if you don't understand that vegan meatballs aren't actual meatballs, they're fucking meatless balls, which sounds fucking stupid, right? And you buy them thinking there's meat in them, well, you deserve to choke on the bastard things. Simple as. I don't see what fucking wrong for. Look like you're robbing someone. Go on lad, you're new to this running lark aren't you? He says he's a medic him, or is he fucking requesting one? You look like you need him one. So yeah, if, if you know somebody who's a vegan, or you come across somebody, right? If they're one of them pretentious twats who throw it down your fucking face, meets murder and all that lot, right? Fair enough. However, if somebody just says, oh, I'm not vegan, you don't have to get on your high horse and give them a load of fucking shit. Right? Just let them be. Leave it. That's it. I used to fucking be one of them a, a bit myself. You know, I'd wind people up. I've given a go. I'm more tolerant now. Right? You should be more tolerant towards people. Simple. Simple thing in life. Be more tolerant. Life's too short, if anything. This fucking coronavirus, COVID-19, is showing us all that. We should... The world's changed, it should have changed for good and f for the better. You know, we should appreciate each other a little bit more that we do for them. You know, the cleaners and the fucking truck drivers aren't the fucking scum of the earth that you all think you are. They're the ones who are keeping you going, folks. I seen one the other day, she was fucking morning. Oh, what help is there going to be for me? I'm self-employed. I'm a fucking digital marketing fucking summer or other, summer or other. And I'm thinking, right, but right at this time in fucking, in, where the world's at, love, you're just not fucking needed, are you? Right? The, ch the, the job that you've chosen, you've chosen. And when times were good, you weren't fucking whinging then when you're fucking charging some daft gum thousands of pounds for your services thinking you were fucking rock hard dog shit fucking super up there right it were all right then now you've come to realize that actually you're surplus to fucking requirement and no fucking need you right that's your fault live with it
get over it. I think she was more fucking bothered that like she'd realised herself, dawn of realisation has gone across her and like, oh fuck. It's your fucking people who are stacking the fucking shelves. They mean more to society now. That's what matters. People just want to get fucking fed. Them sat there at fucking checkout. They mean more to society than you do. Well, maybe it's fucking. We should all take a big fucking long hard look at ourselves and just think, what do we do for society? And if you've got a fucking job that doesn't do now for society, fucking volunteer to do somewhere. Put something back in the fucking society that you live in. Sound like I'm fucking ranting. Well, I am. Right? If you do something that's a fucking use to people, happy days. You get a shit wage. Simple as. But at least you get a little bit of kudos in life that, you know, you do a bit. Usually these fuckers who get paid loads of money do fuck all for society. So they should be doing a bit fucking more. kids I think I might need to ring the fat lass and ask her if she needs it while I'm out <laughs> <laughs>